Good morning, modern statters. Uh, looks like the pigs didn't want to sleep inside last night. They slept out in the mud. Look at those clouds. That's crazy. Look at that. Huh. Oh, man. They made their bed. This is the stage when the pigs start getting a little pushy and bossy for food. It's all they start thinking about when they get to be this age and they don't care what gets in their way between them and their food. <sighs> Makes it a little bit easier when it comes to be harvesting time when they start acting like this. I wonder what Willow's gonna think about the milking room today. What do you think of the new milking room interior walls, huh? You like them all finished off? I've got the trim work to do. And I got a few tricks up my sleeve for the trim work, y'all. Ah, oh, I can't wait to share them with you. gonna be the goat with the most attitude. Oh, you are in a bad mood this morning, Willow. Temperamental goat. <laughs> oh, Willow, you're so funny. You moody this morning, Willow? You are, I know you are. You're so moody, you didn't even eat all your food. Go ahead. Good morning, Hope. Little P was in the feeder. New boy's ready to come out. Morning. Say more into the camera. Do you lick it? No licking the camera. You can't lick the camera. Are you following me? I don't know if you can see the steam coming off the compost pile or not, but that's a good sign. I think they all take turns on that rock that little man's on. Willow, you're in a better mood now? There's no grain. You didn't eat all your grain. Yeah, you didn't eat all your grain earlier. Maggie, you're not supposed to be eating the bark off the tree. That's what all the branches are for. You don't have to cover the trees, I guess. Morning, Hope. Come on in. Yeah, come on in. One time I was at a lodge and I saw some really fancy trim. And it must have been super expensive to make. But I want to see if we can recreate that trim today using just run-of-the-mill cheapo 2x4s that I got from Lowe's. This is the cheapest white pine. I don't think it's white pine. White wood, they call it. 2x4s, like $2.08 for an 8-foot long 2x4. So I want to make some fancy trim work, and we'll see how good it comes out. So I'll get some boards cut, and I'll show you what we're going to do. Well, these are just our standard... SPF KDHT studs. They're just, like I said, the cheapest stud I could find at Lowe's. All right, so we want this at 78 and a half. Let's 
mark. This one also, we're gonna get all of our uprights cut. We need to rip them down. So let's cut these both at 82 and a quarter. Double check this side. Yeah, 82 and a quarter. So on this trim, I'm gonna have my reveal here and here. So I need 23, but I, this is kind of hard to explain, but I want this chart to go up and under this top trim and this top trim we're gonna recess in and it's gonna be thicker. You'll see in a minute. So I wanna have my trim here to extend past my reveal line. So we need 23. So if we go 23 and a half, that'll give us a quarter of an inch. And I think that should be good. I think we're gonna have just enough boards. Right. Let's get two of these cut. All right, so these are all of our pieces. So we have all of the pieces we're gonna need for our uprights cut. But I wanna rip them down. We don't want them inch and a half thick because our top ones are gonna be inch and a half. Let's rip them down so they're inch and an eighth wide. I'll do it. Now we can stick the trim here. Still has a reveal past. And we're going to dado that out so it sits over after, like so. That'll work good for now. All right. I got finished doing that to the other two by fours. We'll be right back. Well, that part's done. Oh, I made just a little sawdust pile doing that. That'll make some nice compost. All right. So now we have inch and an eighth thick boards. If you want to buy that in the store, you have to buy a rough cut lumber and it's not cheap, they call it four quarter, five quarter or six quarter, and the quarter standing for quarter of an inch. There we go. We got those two and these ones. These will be our uprights. Our other two by will slide up under here. So now I'll set my 
fence for three and an eighth. Three quarters of an inch. slide over our interior wall. This is what I was thinking on the trim. These uprights are gonna go like so. And they're gonna be, they're gonna come over the side. And then our top pieces are gonna come up and stick past. This one can get sanded. That's looking really cool the longer it sits. Well, I just put another coat. I like that. That one's actually the last one I did, but then I put, started, no, I did this one last, but then I put another coat on that. It so depends on how, like, the knotty, yeah, knotty so it is and, that, and stuff. So, see, this one, this one looks like? That's what it looks yep. like. So, then I'll do a second coat. <laughs> This will sit. Uh, it should sit once we get it. Yep, I like that height. So now we're gonna notch this out. <clears throat> there. Last one to get sanded. <laughs> Start 
got with these ones. This one and this one. This is this double coated or no? It is. Okay, perfect. This one? No. It's the top for a door. You've had it for a while. Alright. side like so this is gonna go on this side and then this can go up like so you want to raise that up all the way there we go all right so that looks good like that I'll grab these ones. All right, so we kind of try to get do these all together. So this one's got to get held on this mark. You're doing good, you're doing good. I hope it don't take too long. Oh, I'm almost there. It's gonna be like a trick of the kid when you put your arms in the doorway. I was gonna do the top one goal. first, but. Can you do that with me? What's that? Put your hands in the doorway and then hold a really long time and then see if your arms raise after. Guess you don't know what I'm talking about. Nope. Okay, you can, this one can come down a smidge. I can't move anything. I'm just tacking it there. Right now I can put the top one on. And hopefully it all lines up and works out. You like it? Looks fancy. Hi, my babies. What are you doing? What are you doing?
Come here by yourself. Nobody's tried to scratch her yet? No? Nobody's sitting on the spools? Olivia brought out for you? Look at those pretty leaves. Are you enjoying them? Hope you like those leaves. Are you gonna come chew my boot too? No chewing my boots. No chewing my boots. No, no, no. Hey, we don't need to chew my boots. No, no. I'm gonna go sit over here and see if you come. Don't get there before me. I'm gonna go there first. Do a trick. Yeah, do it. Oh, yeah, buttercup, stretch. Stretch. Here she goes, here she goes. Our male goats like the rain, I guess. Really? I know all the girls are gonna be inside. Let me get that bucket for you. Think fast. Moist food. Moist food. Look at that muddy mess. Hey, the, pigs like it. the pigs are gonna love it. Here, let's go down the barn though. I wanna show you what we did today. How's that brush there, Zeke? Is that some good stuff? You don't want that, Caleb? No. Looks fancy, don't it? Uh -huh. It's just cheap two by fours, though. Came out pretty nice, huh? Yeah. You ladies are all wet. Look at you. What is your guess? Fifteen. Fifteen. What's your guess? I'll say eighteen. Six. Sixteen. You got a bunch of packages in the mail today. I need the dump truck. We need the dump truck. We don't have a dump truck. We need a farm truck. So it's the book I'm thinking of. Her late husband used to love quotes. She says I love quotes, so she's got a book of quotes. So that's what it is. Thanks, Teresa. I'll have to look through this later on. Alumna Acres. <clears throat> Must be to make some jelly. Some jelly. Some apple butter or something, I bet you. Let's see. Yeah. I have a feeling I know what this is. What do you think that is? A license plate. What do you think it says? I don't know. It says please do not bend. Oh, it says custom license plates. Oh, God. I didn't see that. What do you think it says? It's something to do with CWC in New York City. All these. Da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Uh, from West Virginia. Wild, wonderful. That's cool. We're going to have another one for our New York City. Does it say who it's from? Um, so whoever sent the CWC RIP license plate. Let us know who that was. That's awesome. I'm assuming they're from West Virginia. Think so? That's my guess. Well, call West Virginia. Now there's another. Now there's another. Jenny Jelly Maker. That's some more. Yeah, from the same person. Does it say 
Edward. You produce frozen fruit. We love ours. Carrie and, and Heidi. Heidi. Thank you, guys. Oh, I need to chop with my knife. I didn't know there was a under 30 minutes. What? I'm sweet pepper jelly. That's what she's eating there, too. Oh. Wanted to thank everybody who sent up something. We really appreciate it. Whoever sent up the RIP CWC, send us an email. Our email address is in our about page. Thank you very much for that. That is awesome. I can't wait to put that on New York City. And I wanted to say thank you to all of y'all who take the time out of your day to watch our videos. That is a huge blessing to us in our homestead. So we just want to thank you for taking your time out. We know your time is precious, so thank you. I'm excited that the trim came out as good as it did. We went, or I went, to Lowe's and bought the cheapest 2 by 4s and did it. I think I have 2 4 6 $8 invested. No, $10 invested maybe. And then we have some of that um, iron solution that we used we use some of the iron solution on them, but we have the iron solution anyways to do a couple of things to the workshop. So we're looking forward to that. I'm excited about how it all came out. It's perfect. I'll leave you with a new quote I was just reading. It makes no difference on how many peaks you reach if there was no pleasure in the climb. Man, that is so true. If we're just going through life trying to get things done, whether it's a woodworking project, school, whatever, we're not enjoying the process, the journey. It's not worth it. We need to learn to step back, take our time, and learn the process. Homesteading, it's not a race, guys. It's a journey, and we need to enjoy it. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. I hope you are enjoying it as much as we are, and you are a huge blessing to us. I just want to keep saying that and thanking you all for all the time you take to watch our videos. Thank you, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.